So we continue. <clears throat> a principal fruit of friendship is the ease and discharge of the fullness and swellings of the heart. Fullness and swellings. Your life, your heart may be full of grief, sorrow, joy, fear, hope, suspicion, dream, love. So it is full. Swelling means full and so it becomes large. Swelling means something that becomes large. So when your heart is full of these things, what happens is, and passions of all kinds, not only these, all kinds of feelings, you have to do ease and induce. See, when your heart is full of hopes, fear and all those things, you have to ease it. For that you require a friend. We know diseases of the stoppings and suffocations are, are most dangerous in the world. So Bacon compares this with the diseases of the body where the stoppings and the suffocation. So you are, your lungs stops breathing and you are suffocated. You are unable to open it. Unless you open it, you will die. So again, you have a liver stops function. You have to open it, you start, restart it, as we say in our computer terms, restart it. Kidney stops functioning. You have to restart it. Exactly like this, when your heart stops func functioning, your mind, it is full, it cannot function. So you have, it has, you have to discharge your feelings. For discharging, there should be someone to listen to you and that someone who listens to you and thus get a discharge of your feelings from your heart is your friend. This he conveys to stoppings and suffocations of the body. We know diseases of the, diseases of the stoppings and suffocations are most dangerous in the body. As I already told you, suppose you, are, you cannot breathe, then it, your, your life comes to a standstill. Your heart, there is no circulation, then you are stop pumping, your life comes to a standstill, like that. As he says, he gives example, and you, in that case, what happened? And it is not much otherwise in the mind. When your mind stops, you cannot work. Exactly like that, when your parts of your body, organs of your, your body stops functioning, you cannot live. It's the same thing. And then he says, in the body what happens, you take medicines and most dangerous in the body as it is, it is not much otherwise in the mind, means this is the same in the mind. You may take sarsa to open the liver. Suppose your liver is not functioning, it stops, you take a medicine called sarsa and steel to open the spleen, a flower of sulfur, sulfur powder for the lungs and castorium for the brain. So if your brain stops functioning, take castorium. These are the medicines administered during, during the time of Francis Bacon to restart your brain, your liver, your spleen and your lungs. Exactly like that. If your mind is full with the feelings, to restart it, you have to have a friend. There is no other way out. It is just like the, the, what is stoppings of the body and uh, I say, uh, otherwise you can see this very simple example these days you get this of dialysis. Suppose you are unable to pass, uh, your, fun, your kidney is not functioning, then you have to take the help, an external help, that is what you call dialysis. Exactly like that, when your heart is full, full of grief, full of joys, full of fears, full of hopes, full of suspicions, full of uh, other feelings, you come to a stop. You cannot go further. Then either you have to cry, or you have to weep, or you have to tell, or you have to shout, or you have to uh, speak to somebody. If not, then what will happen is your mind will come to your close and you will not be able to live. This he compares to the stoppings of the and suffocations are the, are of the body, in the body. So like that of liver, your spleen, your kidney, your um, uh, liver, your heart, and your uh, 
sunflower, 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 and your brain. Understand? And then he continues, he says, to whom I am. But, says, for the receipt of, but, he says, uh, this no receipt openeth the heart. Openeth means opens the heart. No remedy. If you, if you use uh, steel, you can open, that is the remedy to open the spleen. If you use powder or sulfur, it can, that is a remedy for opening the lungs. If you use castorium, you can, that is a remedy for opening or restarting the brain. But there is no remedy that can restart your heart but a true friend. To whom you may impart, you may share your griefs, your joys, your fears, your hopes, your suspicions, your counsels, and whatsoever light means what, whatsoever is there uh, lies upon your heart to oppress it in a kind of civil shift or confession. So when your heart is full, your heart further cannot work. It will not open. It is full and it is like a airtight compartment. You have to open it. There is no medicine for that. The only medicine is a good friend. You talk to your good friend, you get a relief. You are full of grief. You go to your good friend and tell him, see, these are the conditions, what do you like? I feel like committing suicide. Then your friend will say, don't do it like this. Life is only, we get only once. Don't do such kind of, don't take such hasty actions. And then you are satisfied or you get consolation and you restart. Now, diseases of the body, you can give medicine. But when you have got stoppings of your heart, you cannot do, no medicine will open it. The only medicine is your friend. You confession. You make a confession. Confession is something that you find in the among the Catholics. A faithful a, a believer sits, he goes to a priest and opens his heart. Exactly like that is a civil confession. This is civil confession. The other is religious confession. So just as you are doing religious confession to a priest, you do civil confession to your friend, then what happens? Your heart is open, you kind of get a relief. So he cut up, later on he will say, redouble the joys and cut up grief into half. When you share your joy with your friend, it doubles. When you share your grief with your friend, it is reduced to half. So just as stoppings of the stoppings and suffocations are most dangerous in the body, so also Stoppings and suffocations are most dangerous in the mind or in the heart. And for the stoppings and suffocations of the body, you can use medicine. But for stoppings and suffocations of the mind, you have, you have no medicine except your friend. So how important is your friend, you can understand. It is a strange thing to observe how high a rate great kings and monarchs do set upon this fruit of friendship. This fruit of friendship means the ease and discharge of fullness and swellings of the heart. Even great kings and monarchs, they have got all the powers with them. They can, they can have whatever they want, but they, are, they have no friend, what will they? So they gave great importance to friendship. That's the thing. They set a high, set upon this fruit of friendship. A great kings. It is a strange thing, he says. Why it is a strange thing? Because the, okay, the kings and the queens and the monarchs and the princes, they have got everything. But still, they go after friendship. That is why they say, it is a, he, Bacon says, it is a strange thing. Fruit of friendship, wherefore we speak, that is this discharge of friendship, that is a principal fruit of friendship, is the ease and the discharge of the fullness and swellings of the heart. Even kings and queens and powerful people, they want to do this. Presidents and so on. So monarchs set upon fruit of friendship, whereof we speak so great as they purchase it and they get it. Purchase it means they get it many times at the hazard of their own safety and their greatness. Sometimes what happens? A king cannot have, may not get a king as a friend. A prince may not get a prince as a friend. So they will go to lower ranks, and people of lower ranks, and raise them to, the, to their level, and make them friends, or favorites, or sharers of their cares. What happens is sometimes they exploit 
eat this king. Some days they cause shame to the king. But even then, they don't bother about it. They want a king. They want a friend. See, from this you understand how important is the position of a friend in our life. For princes, in regard of their distance of their uh, fortune. See, when you compare the fortune, a king stands very high. And the subjects or the city, ordinary citizens stand very low. So that their distance there between them. For princes, in regard, considering the distance, in regard means considering, the distance of uh, their fortune uh, from that of their subjects, subjects means citizens and servants, cannot gather his fruits except to make themselves capable thereof. They raise some persons as it were companions and almost equals to themselves, which many times sorted inconvenience. So this is what happened. A king cannot get a king as a friend. A prince cannot get a prince as a friend very often. A president may not get a president as a friend. So what do they do? Because there is a distance between the subject and the king. Subject means the citizens and the king. The ordinary people and the king. Or the ordinary people and the prince. So but still they are friends. Therefore what will they do? Some of these ordinary people, they raise to a higher status and then start calling themselves friends. But in this case what happens? Sometimes it can cause inconvenience to the king. To the king. No sir. Suppose you are, uh, you are uh, let's say you are the, uh, <coughs> it, can, it can happen in an day. See, when you are students, you know, students and teachers, some teachers they make very close, intimate friendship with their students. So what happens, you know, sometimes even in company, in, in the company of strangers, the students will take freedom, unnecessary freedom, and call informally, oh, when, oh, mister, what are you doing? Addressing a teacher or a principal like, oh, mister, what are you doing? So in such cases, what happens? It is, it will cause inconvenience to the teacher, professor, or the principal. Suppose the principal becomes too friendly with the students. And it's good to have to be friendly with the students. But then, if sometimes it will cause inconvenience to them. Say exactly like this. For princes, in, in regard of the distance of their fortune, from that of their subjects, compare the king and the subjects, there is a distance. And compare the king and the servants, there is a distance. They cannot gather his food, except what is the way out. The way out is to make themselves capable thereof. They raise some persons as it were. Raise them to the level of their equals. And sometimes what happens is, this may cause inconvenience to them. As I just now told you, the modern languages give unto, this, unto such persons the name favorites or prevails. As if it were a matter of grace or conversation. In modern language, we call such people favorites. Or privados. Privados is a Spanish word, meaning the you one, one who shares the private life with the person. Privados. It's privacy. Understand? Sharing your private life, private feelings, etc. to a person. Such a person in the Spanish language is called prevalence. So in modern languages, you call such people favorites. Now this happens in the class also. You will find some students are the favorite students of the teacher. See, the teacher will consider a particular student or two or three students in the class of out of 60 as his favorite. He raises them to the level of the teacher. But what happens is that at, at certain times they will exploit that situation and someday that can cause problems for the teacher or the professor. Even calling them like friends is it? Oh Mr. Valerie, I told you no, you should not do like this. Student is telling the te teacher or the because the intimacy. If you raise see the distance between a student and a professor is Comparatively, you can see there is a distance, but the professor forgets the distance and raises him to the level of his favorite. 
but the result is sometimes this can cause problems to the professor or the principal. And he says, but <coughs> the Roman name attaineth the true use and uh, and cause uh, and uh, cause uh, thereof, uh, naming them principes curarium. Principes curarium, the Roman name. Principes curarium. This is the Roman name for that. In modern language, he called favorites. 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 Friends are called favorites. Friends raised from the lower level. Lower level. They are called favorites. But in in uh, in uh, Latin language, that is only. But the Romans name the Roman name attaineth the true use and cause thereof, naming them principles curai. Principles curai means okay, uh, one one to whom you share your cares and uh, your cares and counsels or thoughts counsels, thoughts, feelings, emotions, etc. So in modern languages, modern languages in English, you use this word family, but the Romans or Latin language use principus curai means you are a person with whom you share all your private cares and feelings and so on. For it is that which tieth the knot. Knot means that relationship. The relationship tieth the knot means the relationship between these two persons is established. That's the thing. Is confirmed. Why? Because you share your private feelings and thoughts with him. That is what tieth the knot. That is what establishes the connection between or the relationship between these persons. These persons, you should understand, the kings and the princes, they have raised the ordinary people to their level. Just as a professor raises an ordinary student to his level, or principal, ordinary student to his level. That is what happens is that the professor will share his feelings, his griefs, his hopes, his fears, his counsels, and his private thoughts, etc., with him. At times, what happens? He or she will make, will create a slight problems for him because he or she will address him as his friend, even in public. That's the problem. Understand? So the modern languages use you use the word favorite. Favorite means one whom you raise to your level. And but in uh, Latin language, they use the word principus curare. Curare means case, it's a case, C A R E S. Hmm? Your case, C A R E S. You share your care, case with the person. Such a person is your principus curare. And that tieth the note, means establishes the relationship. And we see plainly that this, this had been done. Hath been means has has been done not only not only by weak and passionate princes, not by weak and passionate princes only, but by the wisest and the most politic that ever reigned. Only we must understand this is not a weakness, because such such things that is raising ordinary people to the level of a king or a prince is done not only really by weak kings or kings who are ruled by emotions or swayed by emotions, influenced by emotions, but those kings, those princes who are wisest and also politic, politic means very diplomatic, very able, wisest and politic, statesmen, great statesmen that ever reigned, that ever ruled, who have often times joined themselves, 
some of their some of their <coughs> servants whom both themselves have called friends and allow others likewise to call them in the same manner using the word which is received between private men so don't think that this is a weakness of weak kings don't think this is a weakness of emotional kings don't think that this is a weakness of kings who have got a very very weak character no not at all even great kings politic and wise wise and great statesmen they have done this and they have officially publicly called such men of lower status whom they raised to the level of their friends in public they have accepted that he is he was their friend and also asked other people to consider consider him as the king's friend listen i will read that sentence once again this sentence for him and we see plainly that this had been done this had been done means means uh, raising a man of lower status to the level of the king or to the prince that is this has been done not by weak and passionate princes only some weak princes and passionate princes might have done like this but not only by them but by the wisest and most politic in the great statesman that is what that ever reign that ever rule who have often times join themselves join themselves some of their servants whom both themselves have called friends so it's not only uh, citizens but even their servants they call friends and allowed others like this to call them in the same manner so the kings and the princes sometimes raised their servants to their level and called them friends and asked others also to call them the friend of the king like the same manner and then he said they are using the word which is received between private men the word which is received between private men means my friend so he said so i am a king i have a servant i raised him to my level they call him friend i asked others also come on this is my friend you can call him my friend must so we have done today 7 7 8 9 10 11 12 11 12 and 13 and then we have seen that the uh, the, the main point is the first fruit of friendship the first fruit of friendship is discharge of fullness and feelings swellings of the heart when your mind is filled with grief joy fear hope suspicion and all and all, all those things and there is nobody to share you are unable to move come your mind has come into a, a, a complete standstill stop like a hartal your mind your mind there is a hata so what to do you have to open it you have to share it otherwise you will die is remember whom they brought her very at that is a poem written by tennyson then wife when when the wife saw the dead body of her husband she could not weep she could not cry so all the people around said that if she doesn't cry or weep open her heart she will become mad so they they somehow managed to they they somehow managed to tell her see think of that think of this think of that she doesn't mean there is no feeling she 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 just looks her look is blank she doesn't do speak she doesn't speak she doesn't weep she does no feeling then one of them took the baby small baby and showed her she look at this for this small baby you have to and then she burst out uh, crying and there was what we call ease and discharge of the fullness and swellings of the heart otherwise she will become sick 
This is what happens in your body. Your brain will go on strike. Your spleen, your liver, your heart, your mind, your kidney, and they go on strike. What to do? You can administer some medicine, but there is no medicine for a heart. The only medicine is your, your friend. Therefore, great kings and princes, they found the value of friendship. And they cannot have friends at their level. So they raised the uh, lower level people, says ordinary citizens, their subjects, even their servants, to their level. And made them friends with them. And shared their cares and worries with them. So in Latin we call Principus Curarum. And, and in English, modern languages you say, they are their favorites. But because of this, so at times they have suffered some inconveniences. That doesn't matter. And then Father Bacon says, this is done not only by weak kings or uh, kings who are moved by emotion, but great kings, wisest kings, and also kings who are politic, statesmen. So they raise the servants to their level and call them friends. They also ask others to call them friends. Hope you are following my explanations. Bye. Have a nice time.